O holy Theotokos, us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico, of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for August the 15, 2020, according to St. Luke. Now it happened as they went that he entered a center village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. And it happened, as he spoke those things, that a certain woman from the crowd raised her, her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breasts that nursed you. But he said, More than that, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. I pray to the Holy Theotokos that he will intercede that I might be strengthened to speak about a little bit of her mysteries. This is the icon of the Dormition of the Holy Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary. This is so beautiful. It's one of the icons that I really love the most. In it, we can see, according to the apostolic tradition, the corpse corpse of our Holy Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary. When she died, they summoned all the apostles to her bedside so that all of them might say goodbye to her. And that is the scene that we have here. All of them except Saint Thomas. Thomas was farther away. It is believed that he was in India. But we have this beautiful image of the Savior himself that is holding in, her, in his arms a newly born, the little Theotokos, born to the new life, to the everlasting. Many days after they had buried the, the Virgin, Thomas came and pleaded earnestly, crying, to be allowed to see her corpse. And when they opened the tomb, they saw that there was no body there. And in an analogy similar to that of the Christ, where there was no body, but the resurrected Christ. We also believe and say that the Holy Theotokos was carried up to heaven even in the flesh. It is so sad that our brothers would like to take those words in the gospel to attack her, not understanding the meaning of the word. For it was her that decided to hear the words of the God and Father of us. The only word, Davar Yahweh, which came into her and became incarnated of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. And those same fools do not understand the power of God, for the given birth of the Christ was not a natural one, as it was not natural, his incarnation. They want to think, because they are Aryans, heretics, and they don't even know that they call themselves Christians and they are liars. Today, we have this beautiful icon before all of you. And to all those who would rather be of Christ even without understanding him, I pray that the Holy Theotokos would intercede before the triune God, the Father and the Son, that he may bless you. 
For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.